Hey everyone, this is going to be the third video in my Motivic Development video series. The very first video was an introduction to what Motivic Development is. The second video presented a Motivic Development technique called Variation. I recommend you check out both of those videos before you watch this one. I'll leave a link for both of them in the description below. Today I'm going to show you another Motivic Development technique. and This one is called Variation Extension. This one builds directly upon the first Motivic Development technique we covered in the previous video. And here's a brief reminder of what that was. Variation is when the rhythm of the previous motif is repeated more or less exactly or very similarly, while the melody notes change. Like I said, there's an entire video dedicated to that technique, and the link to that video is in the description below. Variation extension is very similar, except it adds new material, either after the variation is played or before the variation is played. I will first give you step-by-step -step instructions, and then I will demonstrate it in musical context. So here is variation extension. You play a motif, something developable, with recognizable characteristics. You rest for a bar or two, and then you play a variation on that motif, immediately followed by new material. You play a motif, you rest, you play a variation on that motif by keeping the same rhythm and changing the notes, and then you immediately add a new bit of musical information, which is the extension part here. So, play something, then rest, then Play something with the same rhythm of the motif you played before and immediately follow that with a bit of new material. Something like this. So just to recap, you play a motif, you rest, you play a variation on that motif by keeping the same rhythm and changing the notes, and then you immediately add a new bit of musical information, which is the extension part here. Another way of using variation extension, and this one is actually my favorite, is placing the new material before playing the variation, rather than after. So what does that look like? You play a motif, you rest, then you play the extension, which is the new material. And then as soon as you're done playing that extension, you immediately play a variation on the first motif that you played. Again, you play a motif, you rest, you play a bit of new material, and then as soon as you're done with that, you immediately play a variation on the first motif, which is playing the same rhythm of that motif, but using different notes. And it sounds a little something like this. So just to recap, the second way of doing variation extension is placing the extension before the variation, which means you play a phrase, you rest, you play a bit of new material, 
immediately followed by the variation on the first motif, which is playing the same rhythm of that motif, but using different notes. It's pretty straightforward, you guys, but you'd be amazed how much narrative and how much compositional quality this stuff will add to your solos. This is the syntax of music. If music is a language, then languages have paragraphs, sentences, punctuation. And what we're doing here is we are improving our own abilities to use music as a language, as opposed to just a collection of sounds. The syntax is what makes this a language. And variation extension is a very potent way to add some logic to your solos, as well as a storyline. If you go listen to some of your favorite recordings, very quickly you will start recognizing techniques such as variation and variation extension. I promise you, variation and variation extension are literally used by everyone, everywhere, all the time. So it will not be difficult for you to find musical examples in some of your favorite solos. I'm very excited about the Motivic Development series. I consider this to be one of the most important topics in improvising and the one thing sorely missing in the improvisations of the vast majority of musicians. So this is important stuff, you guys. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, requests, or concerns. I'm here to help. I answer everyone personally and try to make sure you guys get the most value out of these videos. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon so you can be notified every time I'm releasing one of these. There's a lot more of these videos coming, as well as different vlogs from my touring and travels. Another great way to catch me is my Instagram account, where I post all the shenanigans and clips of myself playing and traveling from all over the world. That's about it, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.